general, um, I'm really happy to be here presenting our open batches and a warm welcome on my behalf also. Um, so you can see the webinar program. I'm going to take a quick look uh, on the summary on the transversal competences open batches, then introduce you like who's behind all this, tell you a little about regional development for educational services in Payatame. And uh, then maybe the most interesting part is the actual presentation around the open batches we've launched and then a short uh, digital tour around the actual product, which is uh, located on the Seven Sisters website and, and show you the actual um, patches and, and the application forms. So let's go forward. Here's the summary on the open patches set. So you can see the subject area is to develop transversal competences skills within the teaching staff. And the idea arise, arose from the student network within the area. And they were thinking that every student has the right to get high class education in transversal competences. And they wanted to find an innovative way to um, promote and develop the skills in a coherent, transparent, and equal way. And the open patches were one solution, which uh, was verified by the heads of local education and culture department in Payatame. So there was 10, 10 head, heads uh, who said that we really want to go forward on this project. And then the regional development for educational services came in and um, we acquired um, project-based funding for this. And then all 10 municipalities wanted to be involved and um, be on the process of making the whole set. And also um, like the whole development material around transversal competences, not only these batches. These are just like a one part of the whole set. But the consumer uh, is teaching staff and employers, and the earner is the Bayatamet teaching staff. Uh, you can see that we have like basic level batches and advanced level batches. So the basic level has seven batches and the meta batch. And those are um, because these are kind of soft skills. So their self-evaluation uh, done by reflecting your professional uh, work and, and the stuff you do. And then there's a um, place to set up your personal development target. And these are automatically issued from the system. And the advanced level batches, there's also seven batches on the meta, meta batch. So there you need to plan, design, and execute a project with a colleague. And the issuing of these batches are done through assessment from the municipality's representative. And the evidence for these is uh, the actual form and also with the advanced level uh, a project uh, presentation. You can see the criteria is quite smallly written. You will receive the material afterwards. And I'm going to show you the, the website so you can go through them uh, with more time. But they are from the frame of reference, which is the National Core Curriculum of Basic Education, and also the Microsoft 2017 Road to 21st Century Competence. So the criteria comes from there. The Regional Development for Educational Services in Bayatame um, has been uh, jointly formed by decision of these 10 municipalities that you can see on the map. 
And to kind of uh, understand the size of this, you can see the population within the municipalities and, and for the whole Bayatame area. Um, this has been operating since 2006, and first there was just one person operating um, like the whole different projects uh, along with these municipalities, and now it has been growing ever since, and, and, and the municipalities see that this is a really, really uh, fruitful and, and a joyful way of uh, doing um, like uh, any kind of work together as you have the administration backing it up. And the starting point was uh, to get quality and productivity of public education services aimed primarily at the inhabitants itself. And the key is to share good operating practices, identify and implement changes, and also utilize provincial assessment feedback. And uh, the coordination has been placed in Lahti area, which I am at the moment. And you can see our team here. We have 12 skilled experts. And um, you have uh, Anja Rita Carlson, who is the development manager. And development coordinator is Raisa. Those two have been a uh, um, workforce for a long time, and, and now they are happy that this year um, Kati Vahakuopus joined their team as like um, regular, regular staff. And as product, project coordinators, we work uh, for a temper, temporary time based on the project funding. And uh, the work is implemented by project funding, which come from, comes from Finnish National Agency for Education, and also from the Ministry of Education and Culture. These are the two main funders. And we mainly focus on early childhood education and care, pre-primary education, basic education, upper secondary education and vocational education. And the project I'm talking today uh, is mostly uh, focused on the basic education, but these badges can be used um, within every of these areas, if, if they find it useful. Uh, digital open batches have been in Finland for a while, um, but the regional de development um, unit has been using them uh, just recently. Uh, we followed the example of uh, City of Lahti. They launched digital skills open patches for teaching staff 2020, and it was successful. And the heads of uh, local education and culture department uh, wanted to see if we can broaden this wonderful tool and, and, and to use it for transversal competencies. And the tutor teacher network was also backing this project up. So that's kind of the history. I'm going to show you a timeline also later on. And here you can see one of the batches, which uh, is a meta batch for um, the basic level. And um, of course, because this is a big project, we set up goals for the batches. And those were that we want to promote coherent, transparent, and equal way. And, and I by, do that by identifying, verifying, and assessing. And with this, we have a set, of with, set with clear criteria that complies with standards and frameworks. That's important when we work uh, in the education field. And also uh, a goal was to make personal and work community skills visible for themselves, but also uh, within the community and, and outside the community. And also it's important that we articulate um, the skills that we, we see and require 
to get kind of a joint uh, understanding and acknowledgement. And also, um, we see that this uh, open batch is an inspiring and motivating way to encourage and demonstrate um, the skills in transversal competences together and, and, and also individually. So um, the development work, as we earlier spoke before the um, webinar started, um, it can take even years. So this project started with defining how to develop skillfulness around transversal competences. And um, the start was 2018 with uh, the tutor project. And then um, after the tutor teacher network was, uh, was um, kind of um, found and put together, they, they designed like the template for uh, the Seven Sisters material package. Like what would it include, um, how to work around it. And then they started with this uh, gamified stories. And I'm gonna show you soon that uh, in Finland, the national core curriculum uh, presents the transversal competences um, in seven different areas. So these seven different areas were um, gamified and put into stories so that they are more um, appealing and, and understa understandable to children. So I'm gonna show you that soon, but that's where the name Seven Sisters comes from. And after the gamified stories, uh, they decided to go towards the digital open batches and they formed regional tutor teacher development team and were able to create the first template for the batches in 2021. I think it was like the first were around the 2020 and the, the year when that year changes that I'm, I was, uh, involved in the project project collaboration in 2020 uh, on February. So the first digital batches were formed around uh, January and December, I guess. Uh, so we saw that there's a lot of um, technical work around it. So that this last sp spring was almost uh, a lot of work around that area. We, we also updated the Seven Sisters website and got familiar with the Open Batch factory service. And we used um, Eric to help us to define how to get the best license when we have 10 municipalities and we're gonna involve them as issuers and um, our unit is just the creator. So which would be the best way to go for us? And uh, I'm gonna go towards that soon and show you a, a model how we use these. But then during the spring 2021, we tested and piloted and finalized the open batches. And uh, now, autumn 2021, we are able to use and we have launched the, the open batches for the municipalities to start using within the teaching staff. And we are at the moment training the municipality staff so that they have a person or persons who are trained and responsible for issuing the batches. So here you can see uh, the transversal competences within the national core curriculum, which I told you earlier. And um, these seven areas focus on the development as a human being and as a citizen. 
and they they include the knowledge, the skills, the values, and attitude and will. So here you can see um, the basic level batches. And uh, the first area is thinking and learning to learn. And um, I've put here that the open batch is a reflective self-assessment and setting up a development goals for yourself. And you can uh, do this by yourself, but also if you want to do it as a um, collaboration with the colleague or as a community, that's also okay. But these are kind of a thought that you can uh, do them individually also. And the second one is cultural competence, interaction and expression. Same way of uh, expressing the evidence. The third one is taking care of oneself and others, managing daily activities and safety. The fourth is multiliteracy. Fifth is ICT competence. Uh, there's typo, but this is the, the sixth competence for the world of work and entrepreneurship. And the seventh is uh, participation, influence, building uh, the sustainable future. And here you can see the tags underneath. We will go to see the actual applications and then and, and you can see how it works. But um, individual can start uh, from, from any. You don't need to go uh, from the first to the seventh. You can just choose by um, your personal uh, skill set and then, then continue forward. But when you complete all of the seven batches from the basic level, you uh, get the meta batch. And uh, if you think um, about what are the drawings uh, and the texts on these, the drawings represent the gamified story characters. And uh, here you can see them all. And here it says skilled on transversal competences. And this is the advanced level batches, same themes here, but um, when you want to um, um, earn the batch, you need to do self-assessment, cooperation with colleague or colleagues, and uh, design and or execute a project which is related to this area. And um, the previous batches, they are automatically issued from the system, but these batches are um, assessed by the municipality expert. And then if you need, you, you um, ask the, the batch applier uh, to, to give more evidence or feedback um, if it's not enough. But um, when we're talking about teachers, mostly they, they, they do, um, I'm not saying they do too much, but, but I, I'm believing that many, many will uh, be doing a wonderful project presentations here. And um, like the basic level, if you complete these seven, you will get the meta batch. And also you can, uh, go through in any sort of uh, arrangement. You can start with here and go towards the seventh, or you can just pick like if, if you're skilled in ICT, you can start from there and then choose randomly. Here's an example what I was talking about, maybe easier to understand. So uh, here you can see on the green example of a learning path. So you can go from basic level to advanced level, or you can uh, like here. And um, then also you can do as, uh, if you wanna do all the basic level signs, meta batches, um, sorry, 
if you want to do all the basic level open patches, then you can do them and then go towards the advanced level patches or do like uh, by competence. Uh, competence, transfer competence to, and then go towards that. But there's also example of a personal skill path, which is um, highlighted through orange. So you can see that if, um, if you want to hop around and do uh, based on the skills you already have, and then maybe define what skills you want to acquire, then you can also choose freely and and this these paths and this um, set was formed because we were um, talking to the municipalities there were small municipalities and big municipalities and they really have a different set of um, resources in use if you think of the assessment work done around these so we wanted to find a way that is um, suitable for everyone and also if you don't have resources for um, the assessment you can just uh, happily use these automatic issued batches also so we wanted to kind of uh, offer a, um, um, a low level um, possibility that you could in, in a small way, utilize this if you don't have the opportunity to, to fully go th towards them. And here, um, uh, managing and sharing model, um, we've uh, drafted now. And this is actually the case we are now that the open batches uh, are made and uh, we're using open batch factory so that the regional development has the uh, premium pro license and we have created and now shared the open batches to the municipalities which have um, sub organization license underneath us and municipalities can self uh, make a plan and operating model, how they want to use and how they um, have the resources to use the batches we've created together. And they will also, they have a role uh, as being issuers also. And this uh, is like, uh, I'm going to show you later on, but, but like um, when the open batch application is opened, you can see the regional development as the creator and the municipality as the issuer. So it's uh, also kind of um, big thing uh, on, on influencing staff that this is really like backed up from a bigger point of view. And, and it's jointly done by the staff and administration. But then you can see that the principals and, and the school staff are um, actually responsible for the issuing and assessment in, in, in general and, and communicating and supporting and following the reports done around the open batches. And how will we make sure that this all works? Well, we're tr training now and, and, and also connecting and networking within the regional uh, network within the people who are the responsible ones. So they will get um, support from the regional development team, of course, from their own municipality administration, but also within the um, regional network of open batch administrators. And um, the basic level batches kind of, um, you, you can just, uh, use them but we're still training everyone even though there would be the automatic issuing so you need to have a person who is responsible for the whole process inside the municipality but of course we're encouraging everyone to use the open batches set fully 
so that the advanced level patches would also come in use, uh, where the municipality's responsible person um, can um, utilize the project templates, which are presented by the teachers. Uh, so so we, we can share the good teaching models and good practices also uh, through the Seven Sisters website. This is asked on the application form that, hey, so you're uh, doing this project, can we share it on the website? So, the, so then others can in, uh, get inspired and, and use the same models. And hopefully we will uh, get a lot of this. And here's a sneak peek on the actual training we're doing with the uh, representative, representatives that are inside the municipalities who will lead the work uh, and lead the work around the open batch launching. So we're uh, training them to do know uh, the basics around the tools, but also know the basics around this uh, open batch set. And um, also to acquire the right kind of mentality uh, and understanding with the principles. And the evidence is assessment or assessed by us, the regional development team. And uh, also it gives us feedback like where did we success and where we need to develop more and, and give support for the municipalities. This is an example um, of the communication template that they can use within the teaching staff, like how to um, get started on using the open batches. So this is unfortunately in Finnish, but I'm gonna explain you. Here you can see the basic levels open batch. So it says start by opening the form, fill in the form and send it you will receive an email um, of uh, earning the badge. You can um, accept and receive it and also share within the social media and, and you can show your skill uh, and promote. And it's the same within the advanced level open badge, but here, um, because it's, um, assessed. So you, you might have an email where you are asked to uh, give more information and then you will start, go, go, go to the start and, and give more information which is, is asked and then sending again and then um, approved and received and then you can share and uh, promote the skills you've uh, acquired or actually the, promote the skills which you already might have. And uh, here on the bottom, you can see just an explanation that um, um, when you have um, done, this is just an example, like when you have uh, acquired a basic level open batch, you can go towards the advanced level. And when you have uh, accomplished all of the basic or um, advanced level batches, you will receive the meta batch. And here's a code where you can, uh, QR code that you can just uh, click um, scan and then you are directed to the Seven Sisters website. And these were printed out for the schools that they can just put it around the teaching staff uh, area. And you might be interested also about the testing and piloting we did. So it was done uh, in spring and all of the municipalities were involved uh, and the regional tutor teacher development team was leading the piloting and acquiring the local teachers and teaching staff. 
um, to their team of testers. And we tested the Seven Sisters website and the Open Batch Factory um, forms that we had made. And the assignment was to walk through the Seven Sisters website from the um, earner's point of view and test also the transversal competences open batch forms and evaluate them, but also the email messages that you receive when earning a batch. And the things we wanted to kind of find out was the pedagogy, do they really motivate and support the development and also um, the comprehensibility and clarity um, are the instructions and technical solutions understandable and clear and are they working properly so that we can kind of launch uh, and do the first version and, and, and go further from that from that the testing crew uh, gave an overall grade which consisted of the website the, the basic and advanced level batches and they gave an overall grade of four being like one being insufficient and five being excellent. So we were very, very pleased the, the testing crew and piloting crew were also really happy and kind of surprised that, wow, this is really a huge thing we've uh, made together. And, and, and um, here you can see the quotes from the pilot crew. Um, from the technical point of view, they were happy that um, because a lot of teachers in Finland use mobile devices. It was uh, happy to see that you can use the mobile and PC versions uh, really well. And they thought that um, they automatically earned basic level batches were um, also like a low level push towards um, challenging you for the advanced level. It, like uh, in a gamified sense. And um, many of them said that this is a lovely way of uh, kind of telling yourself that, wow, I can do many things. And, uh, and uh, these will definitely make teachers re reflect on their own work even more. And um, they really like the whole package, which I'm gonna sh show you soon. Um, so we're going to go towards the additional information, which can be found all from the Seven Sisters website. And if you want, here's my um, contact info. So you can call or email me or find me through LinkedIn. And um, the Seven Sisters website is uh, made in Finnish. I'm going to use Google Translator. So don't be alarmed that all of the translations are not <laughs> correct, but um, I'm hoping I can um, guide you through it and you can test it, the translation tool also if you want to. So let's see, um, I'm gonna hide the controls and uh, here um, I'm gonna use the Google Translator so you can see that this is a uh, the, the main page where we uh, explain um, what this site is and who's behind it. And here you can see the characters, which are the transversal competences. And uh, here I can quickly show you that um, every transversal competence is uh, their own personality and own set of skills. And these have their own stories behind it. And the signs of competences are related to these characters. But here you can see, um, oh, sorry, I'm using signs of competence. I mean, um, open batches. So um, here we are telling um, like a general info. Of course, the description and criteria is opened up and then we have the instructions for the issuer also instructions for the um, earner for the teaching staff 
and then uh, a lot of additional material. So we made, uh, for instance, webinars towards the principles, and now we're doing this and continuing um, uh, this autumn to, to kind of promote and help the municipalities on, on communicating about these patches. And you also have um, posters and, and newsletters. And for the teachers, there's also a material bank. And uh, they, they include everything around the, the development package I was telling you uh, in the beginning. And the open batches with the advanced level, um, as we, as I told you about the project presentations. So here we have a pedagogical examples about like how you can, um, these are in Finnish, but they're pedagogical examples of projects you can uh, do with the colleague or with a bigger team and uh, you don't need to come up with that by yourself. And these all examples are uh, like actual living examples from the regional tutor ne network and from the teachers. But the training is also found here and, and you can go and see it if you want to. Uh, we tried the uh, H5P tool this time and uh, you can just click and see. This is unfortunately in Finnish, but it's about like uh, open batches in general, the open batch factory, open batch passport and uh, our open batch set. And then you have the application here to apply. I've gone through the training and then I'm gonna apply. And for the municipalities, we have their own sites. And uh, here you have instructions and you can click on and then see The criteria and also the application form. So here's the reflect, like the self-reflective assessment you do, and then you set up your own goal. And for the advanced level, you can see that. The instructions are here, then it really underlines that this is done in a pair or teamwork. Then you have uh, the examples here also inside the application form. So you don't need to go to the website, uh, but then you tell us like uh, which project you are performing. And uh, if you do your own, please tell us what you're doing and then provide uh, evidence and then if we can distribute the or, or present the description in this website. So um, if you have any questions or, or you want to um, me to clarify something, I'm, I'm happy to answer. And I'm, uh, I'm hoping that you, <laughs> you were able to follow the presentation. Thank you very much. It was very impressive. I, I really <laughs> must say that uh, four, I, I would say four years of very, very detailed uh, strategy and planning. And uh, I can see that uh, you, didn't, you didn't forget anything from the, the planning of the contents, uh, the strategy, the collaboration, because there is, it's very interesting to say that you have a, um, a network, yeah, mm -hmm. which, uh, working with the network that you have a great, I uh, would say, team and collaboration. And uh, um, and I like uh, the, the Seven Sisters, really, because yeah. it's, it gives, a, um, which is very often very difficult for open badges to find a kind of, would say, a family feeling 
for the bash, you know, the, the bash family. Yeah. You know, to, to get some kind of logic or some kind of, you know, connection between uh, the, the batches. And then you have the, the great idea of the of the, the first, the seven sisters, then you have the different batches. And then you, at the end, you have the, the meta batch with all the yeah. graphic elements that you have in there. So it's uh, really impressive. And uh, I, I, I like also the, the transversal idea of going in the basic mm -hmm. uh, path and then going to L1 to, you know, to yeah. just going on the higher level, uh, which are, it's uh, very interesting. Uh, and I, I like also very much, and I think that many of our customers could learn about that, about the, the fact that you have the badge application, I mean, the automatic badge application for the basic, basic badges, which is mm -hmm. a good way to hook your, yeah. your, your badge earners because it's, uh, they get it easily, I would say, and it's quite, uh, quite quick and they get uh, rewarded in a way. So there is motivation. And, and then you have definitely uh, very demanding uh, batch applications for the advanced level. Yeah, which is and they are hard. challenging the, the, yeah. the individual and also with the basic level, um, like some criticism was also, of course said that, okay, so you can so easily um, re receive the basic level. Mm -hmm. But if you think that we wanna kind of, uh, uh, make visible the skills you already have. And also because the transversal competences were um, seen as um, kind of a um, big carry uh, troll. Like mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. From, from a teaching point of view, you have already a lot of work to do. So you need to kind of go through all this framework yeah. uh, and, 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 and new kind of um, uh, information flow. So this was kind of a fun and easy way to kind of show yourself that, hey, I'm actually doing this stuff. It's not so far away from my everyday work. Yeah, yeah. and, and okay. it's a good way to avoid blockers. As you said, uh, the, it can be a bit challenging for people to you know, to get the first badge and so on. If, if you put the, the how, I don't know if you say how it's in English, but if you put the, the, the level very high, mm. so you will have people who will not even try it. So it was, uh, in my opinion, it's a very good idea to have this motivating approach. But uh, what is very interesting also, it's in, in this case, when you have automatic issuing of the badge, it's in self-assessment, basically. It's uh, also an expression of trust. Mm. So you, the, the people have the right to self-assess themselves and basically to be trust. And this is, uh, trust is a very important um, element in open batching. And uh, I think it's good. And, and then you have the dynamic to get, you know, this uh, advanced level badges. And uh, yeah, and, and then uh, what, what you didn't say, but it was, um, uh, I think it's interesting while you spoke about the sub-organization and uh, you showed the badge application with the reviewing system that you have basically uh, a select select box or, or drop, drop mm. uh, menu where the applicant can choose the, the city yeah. and then and then the, the, the badge application are sent to cities um, um, uh, reviewers basically so in my opinion it's all also very good because you have with a sub organization you can get to quite good control of the network of your mm. Of the batches, you don't have to share them. You know, you, there is not this technical complexity, and but uh, at the same time, you have, uh, I would say, demanding, well-designed uh, strategy on on sharing the assessment mm -hmm. to people from different uh, cities, which is, uh, yeah, I, th I think it's a it's a very good model. Yeah, the assessment was a big question uh, when you have a small municipalities. Where you don't have a lot of resources so that was also one point that when you have the um, open batch expert network so you and and we kind of um, all understand the principles around these open batches and the assessment work uh, so it's not necessary that um, i from uh, lahti just uh, review the lahti mm -hmm. batches 
someone from Orimattila can do that also. And I um, also I can help uh, smaller municipalities like Asikkala or, or the others. So we can review them um, jointly also. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, this, this, I would say network, uh, this collaboration uh, question is often the, the difficult one. Yeah. It's uh, often difficult at the, at the planning stage, I mean, designing batch together. In this case, you have also um, having a common set of batches, which is uh, with, with uh, you know, uh, editing them, uh, is reviewing them. And uh, of course, uh, the reviewing is also uh, involving work, and <laughs> it can be in some situation a bit, uh, a bit uh, demanding for, 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 for network, who is doing what work and, and why. Yeah. So, uh, Thank you very much. There was quite many questions here. Uh, I think Don, Don, you have quite many questions. So it, would it be good that if you could ask uh, to Hannah Maria your the questions? Hi, sorry, I've been tweeting up a storm <laughs> while we've been <laughs> listening. Um, yeah, yeah I, I have I have some factual questions. First of all, overall, is this is awesome. I think. I think the uh, the no review applications. I was I was just uh, commenting that to me that's great because uh, a lot of what we say is the the badge doesn't have to be the end of a journey; it can be the start mm. of a journey. This yeah. is a perfect example of that. I diagnose myself and I start my journey, so it's yeah. it's it's great. Um, I I'm uh, working with um, uh, badges in international development now and. Um, there, uh, so I have uh, some questions. Basically, basic education is that adult basic education? No, or is it kids basic. Kids, education? kids basic education. Okay, okay. so that's uh, that's one question answered. Um, the other thing is, is it possible? This is you've done such a thorough job. Is it possible to contact you to to share and and uh, emulate? Uh, what you've done in terms of communications and uh, and making it clear yep of course awesome that's great thank you yeah and no other comments just to say wow <laughs> yeah nice and thank you and then happy to collaborate in any way if, if this is any use okay thank you very much yeah. and I think one, I one question asking how many badges have you issued so far ah well um Actually, well, the batches that are now issued are only from the piloting. And uh, I think Lahti uh, as the biggest um, regional uh, municipality here, um, they are starting now. They are kind of, they, they have the background on the open batches process. So they are starting now during the autumn. So we don't have actually a, a lot of earned batches at the moment, but I'm going to keep you posted. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Actually, I have a follow up question to that mm -hmm. and it's related. It has to do with um, the advanced level badges mm -hmm. and uh, the work that's involved in assessing them. Uh, are you planning to use the method? Uh, I think that was uh, pioneered in Finland of uh, peer assessment. Mm -hmm. It was in uh, it was in um, OP Minute online. Yeah. Uh, one, one, one of the first uh, project. So, so that 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 is a plan. People will become qualified to be peer assessors and then be part of a pool of assessors. Okay. Yeah, great. And you asked also about the sub organization. Did you get an answer from uh, yeah. previous? Yeah, yeah. good, good. Yeah. Thank you. Good, good. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? Uh, I'm going through the chat. I'm seeing if there is a. Yeah. We have comment comments that fantastic work. And, yeah, I uh, think that we have. I love the stories, clarifying <laughs> yeah. the skills and motivating the students. Yeah, and that that's kind of the the core factor that like um, to make this work visible for the children and and make them understand and participate. So, mm -hmm. so it was a great, well, we have a great, great uh, network of teachers here in Bayatame, but also in, in general in Finland. Yeah, there is something that I can see often in Finnish um, 
in Finnish, um, um, let's say, uh, pro projects. And it's the, this gaming idea, so this uh, gaming for motivation that uh, you can see uh, with, uh, with the badges and with uh, the way you issue them. And, uh, and uh, I think the, your, your website is also very important. Mm. It's, uh, this project, so not only the badges, but really that there is a good explanation of why badges, what kind of badges, how you can mm. get them, and then there is the, um, the, the basically a good description of how you get a badge if it's an automatic badge application, how you get a badge when it's uh, assessed, and that it can be the the need to to get back to let's say provide more information and. Yeah, it was, uh, it was graphic, so this was quite clear. Uh, if you do that uh, with a text, it will be uh, two or three paragraphs, and no one will uh, read it. So yes, that's yeah. true. And um, I think um, one thing that um, teachers have said that they are frustrated when the information is split around different services and different websites. So we we try to also answer to that that we're trying to. Um, get everything together inside one uh, website so that you can utilize it uh, thoroughly. Yeah. I, I, I posted the Seven Sisters website address if, if, some, if, we, if you want to click it already, but as we said that this is recorded and, and also the presentation material is shared. Okay, thank you very much. Do we have any other questions uh, in the chat? Uh, can you see me now something? Or no, no, I don't think so. Mm. Yeah. What, uh, what I could say now, I, I would love to, to see you again in one year. Yeah, that, <laughs> I agree. <laughs> we will be a um, totally different place. There are a lot of knowledge. And, uh, yeah. and then we could say, tell you more about like data on, on how many have we accomplished to issue? Yeah, because it, of course there, there is a very interesting side. Uh, what is the impact of the badges on your on your teachers and yeah. how, how they, they, they experience it and what kind of ideas uh, are coming from the teacher's side, the feedbacks and all improvements. And well, I think we will be in contact with you before next year. Yeah. Um, all open bash factory related uh, <laughs> development ideas and yeah. and uh, and so and so on but i mean for this uh, this group i think it would be great uh, in one year to have okay yeah uh, how uh, how the the what what the seven sisters are are now doing yes <laughs> that's true and uh, um, the atmosphere in the in the field uh, is really excited so let's let's hope for the best yeah, so very good things in Lahti. I mean, uh, uh, there is, a, I think, a, a strong bass concentration in yeah. the Lahti area and as well as Lahti schools and, of course, of this all the region of Lahti. Um, thank you very much and for the presentation. And yeah, let's say thank you. It was really nice to be involved. Thank you. Bye to everyone. Okay. Bye bye. Thank you and bye bye. bye, -bye.